What's up guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to do a very honest review of one of the biggest tourist attractions in Indonesia, the Komodo Islands. We wanted to see for ourselves if it lived up to our expectations and share our experiences with you. Today we are going on an organized tour, which is something we usually don't do, but as you know Flores is famous for Komodo dragons, so that is what we are going to see today. We booked a day tour, which included visiting four places for snorkeling and sightseeing. So we arrived to Padar Island and uh, we're getting on the little boat right now. So we're on Pada Island right now, going up this huge mountain to see what the views are like. It is really, really dry. I mean, it's supposed to be raining like a month ago, but it didn't yet. So as you can see, everything looks pretty gray and dry. Yeah, because this place is famous for the viewpoint and the, seeing the green island behind you, but obviously it's not green right now. But oh well. we'll see, it's still amazing views. <laughs> So as you can see, this is the paradise. Look at it, and it's it's actually really busy. There's a lot of people. So, uh, but what I suggest you guys to do, if you really want to come and enjoy the paradise, you probably should come here a bit earlier before everyone else, or just come really late, and you're gonna have to get a private boat. Next, we visited Pink Beach, where we stopped to do some snorkeling. Beach snorkeling right now. Just an honest review. Um, Gilinangu was way much more colorful and stuff. It's not like it's bad, but it's just like it feels like it's been destroyed quite a bit because obviously there's a lot of tours coming around here. Um, you do see a few fish. I mean, have a look. Yeah, there's a few, but not as many as, as in Gilinangu. But yeah, o overall, like the place looks beautiful. Yeah, the beach is like, the sand is so beautiful. I've never been to a pink beach before. Altogether, it's a nice place. It's not the best place for snorkeling, but it's not a worst place either. Uh, one to ten? Like... Six. Six to seven? <laughs> exactly. We're gonna say seven, I think it's six. <laughs> yeah. So we've just arrived at Komodo Island, our third stop of the day. And we're just about to see Komodo dragons for the first time. I can see a wild boar in not so wild environment. And he's gone. Bless him. To be honest guys uh, about the Komodo Island, we didn't get to see any Komodos apart from one Komodo right next to the Komodo sign just waiting for us out there. I personally think that the Komodo was sedated or something like that because it was so slow, she looked like, you know, Komodos are in incredibly fast animals. Yeah, I mean they say that it's because of the heat, like during the day they don't move as much, which that could be the reason. It just was quite, it was kind of sad to see everybody just 
surrounding it and taking pictures with it, it was kind of just felt wrong. Like we shouldn't be here. Indonesian government is banning Komodo Island visits from 2020 January. Um, That's pretty and soon. Yeah, it kind of makes sense why they're doing that because the animals, I mean, they should be living in, in the natural habitat without being interrupted by humans. There was about like 20 to, or 40 people surrounded him. He could barely even move because he was obviously sedated. But hey, uh, our next stop is the manta point to see some manta rays which hopefully will be there because I think the season for them has let's just hope. ended let's hope I really hope please let us see a manta ray oh look there's komodos oh my god yes <laughs> oh. nice. is that dolphins? so just on the way back by this time we were behind schedule and the guide was trying to get us back even though we hadn't seen anything it all felt quite rushed and we were starting to wonder what we had spent all this money on So to round this up for you guys, we believe that the Komodo trip is all down to luck and we weren't really as lucky. Unfortunately, we arrived at the middle of the day, the hardest time of the day. And apparently it's the time when all the Komodo is actually hiding from the sun. So make sure you arrive there really early. Our Manta Rays experience wasn't as great because we arrived there at the end of Manta Ray season and we haven't seen a single one, unfortunately. So if you have the budget, we think that maybe doing a two or three day tour could be better because you probably get a chance to see more animals at the best times of the day. For this tour, we actually paid 550,000 Indonesian rupiah each. That includes lunch and snorkeling gear. And then when you get on the boat, um, you have to pay a national park fee as well. We were told this would be 150,000 each, but it actually turned out to be 350,000. So just be aware of that and have the money with you when you get on the boat. So yeah, just make sure you ask around at different tour companies before you book it and get the best prices and make sure you know the exact price before you book it as well. If anyone of you watching us right now has done a Komodo trip before, make sure you leave us a comment below about your own experience. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe for more and we'll see you in our next journey.